Hello everyone, uh, I'm Chen Lu Zhang from Microsoft Research Asia. In this talk, Scarlett and I will introduce Reshari, a deep learning exploratory training framework on NI. Uh, this system is designed for efficient DNA model exploration. This is the agenda of our talk. First, I will introduce Reshari as a research work. Then my colleague Scarlett will introduce how Reshari is implemented on NI and how to use Reshari on NI. As we all know, deep neural networks have become prevalent. DNA models are being adopted in both cloud and edge. More and more scenarios and applications are powered by DNA techniques. So it's important to design a good DNA model for each given task. Designing a deep, a deep learning model is very different from traditional uh, big data tasks. For a big data task, for example, word count, developers write a script. After script is executed on targeted data, we get the result, the task is done. However, a deep learning task is not training a given model. Instead, its goal is to find a good model for a specific task. For example, designing a DNA model for detecting faces on an edge device. It has both accuracy and latency constraints. Designing a deep learning model is mainly an exploratory process. It usually starts with a hunch, for example, from some well-knowing, good-performing neural architectures as a basis to produce a concrete model, then training this model to check how it performs. Based on the training performance, the developer manually or automatically refines the model for getting better performance. After checking its training result, the developer modifies the model again and trains it. This process is repeated until the desired model is found. We call this process exploratory training. Let's look at some typical modifications to models during exploratory training. The graphs represent DNA models. When designing a model, developers do some of these modifications to find better models. First, developers may replace an operator with another one. For example, changing activation operation from ReLU to leaky ReLU. Or try to add skip connections. Also, there could be some rule-based model modifications like replacing some specific layers with another one, or inserting operators after specific layers. Another modification type is generalizing a block structure. Here is an example. Inception block is shown on the left. It has four passes uh, with one operator on each pass. It's intuitive to try different model structures while keeping its main skeleton. For example, changing the number of passes and changing the operator on each pass. The last one is that a model architecture could gradually grow following some rules. For example, we can grow a model by adding layers to adapt the model to harder tasks. Similarly, we can gradually shrink large model to adapt to easier tasks. All these model architecture modifications are very common during designing a new model. However, existing frameworks have very weak support to exploratory training because they only focus on a single DNA model. However, programming and training one DNA model is just one step of the exploratory training process. Although there are tools for neural access search or hyperparameter optimization. Many of them lack modularity and programmability, making one NAS or HPO solution only applicable to one kind of neural architecture or only works for a specific task. On the other hand, uh, the models explored during exploratory training uh, could have high similarity among each other. There are great opportunities to leverage such similarity uh, to speed up exploratory training process, which are missed by existing frameworks and tools. 
the way of programming DN has been evolved from programming with native C++, R, MATLAB to deep learning frameworks like uh, PyTorch, TensorFlow. Given that we have understood the exploratory training uh, process of designing deep learning models, we believe uh, this is a good time to rethink DN framework. Uh, what should we do to make the end-to-end -end experience of developing a DN model much easier and faster? Here comes our system, Rishari. Rishari is designed as a deep learning framework for exploratory training rather than a single DN model. It could make model exploration more systematic and uh, programmable. Exploration strategies and uh, algorithms become modular and fully reusable uh, by various exploratory training tasks. Moreover, it enables cross-model optimizations to greatly speed up the exploratory training process. Uh, we position Rishari as a go-to DN framework to greatly help developers design new DN models. Take the previous examples. We can see that exploratory training is a series of model mutations. The possible mutations build a model space. Explore, uh, exploratory training explores the models in this space to find the best one. We design mutator as a core abstraction. Mutator decouples model space from exploration strategy. Mutator could express arbitrary model space, making it easy for developers to express a bunch of possible models they want to try. Exploration strategy can understand and search the model spaces that are expressed with mutators. Meanwhile, mutator natively tracks the relations uh, between models Thus, it exposes many cross-model optimization opportunities. Rishari provides a new mutator-based programming paradigm for users to program a model space rather than a single model. Due to the decouple of model space and exploration strategy, they become highly composable. A model space can try different exploration strategies. At last, the cross-model optimization techniques in Rishari greatly speed up the exploration process. Let's start with mutator-based programming paradigm. A model space is composed of a base model and a sequence of mutators. Here is a four-node sequential model. Let's say we want to replace the third node max pooling with an inception cell to explore possible neural architectures uh, for an image classi classification task. This inception cell could have two to five passes, and an operator on each pass can be chosen from uh, convolution, depth-wise convolution, or max pool. For this model space, we write inception mutator. The mutator takes the options for building the model space. For example, the number of passes ranges from 2 to 5, and uh, the list of candidate uh, operators. Uh, in the mutate function, it takes a chain of three nodes and replaces the middle one with a newly constructed inception cell. Specifically, it uses an API called Truth to get the decisions from exploration strategy that decides how many passes to build in the cell and which operations is used on each pass, also using the truth API. And finally, with the defined mutator, we can apply this mutator uh, to the four node graph to express the concrete model space. As the user program programmed a model space during exploratory training on this space, there are many decisions to make. For example, uh, which models should be prioritized in search, how much time budget to give each generated model in training, do we need to use early stop, should, should weights be shared among models. These decisions could be made by exploration strategies or human. Currently, there have been a lot of good exploration strategies, such as reinforcement learning, grid search, evolution, and annealing algorithms 
BSM-based optimizations, and a gradient-based search approach. More importantly, these exploration strategies are reusable by various user-defined model spaces. This is the architecture of Reshari. Jit Engine takes user-defined model space, including base model and uh, mutators, then instantiate models following the model space. When instantiating a model, mutators will be applied one by one to generate a new model. The mutator will interact with the exploration engine to get the decisions on which concrete model to instantiate next. The execution engine interacts with the exploration strategy to get the mutation decisions. Users can also customize new exploration strategies following the interface exposed by execution, uh, exploration engine. Human can also interact with the exploration training process through this interface. The generated uh, raw data flow graphs are optimized using cross-model optimizations before training. The training results are collected as the feedback. These results are fed to the exploration strategy uh, for the strategy to make better decisions. This table shows eight out of uh, 27 NAS solutions currently supported by Rishari. Many model spaces can be constructed with three simple mutators, input mutator, operator mutator, and inserting mutator. Different model spaces and exploration strategies can be freely combined. Our models from a model space are usually similar to each other. They usually use the same training data and the same data pre-processing logic because they may be mutated from the same base model. They may share some common layers. Uh, moreover, some models may share weights with each other in order to leverage other models' higher accuracy and, uh, and training progress. Based on these ob observations, we propose three uh, cross-model optimizations. Um, uh, they are common sub-expression elimination, mixed parallelism for weight sharing, and uh, operator batching. First, uh, the dataset preprocessing and the embedding of multiple models might be same. Executing multiple models on the same server may lead to significant contention on CPU, especially for mobile models. When all these models use the same non-trainable prefix operations, the optimization of common sub-expression elimination will be, um, will be deduplicated by merging them so that they are executed only once on CPU. Our micro-benchmark uh, shows MNASNet 0.5 has a CPU utilization of 75%, even when running one model. Running more models in the server will lead to bottleneck on CPU. Using Rishari's CSE, the data loading and the preprocessing will be deduplicated so that more models do not increase CPU burden. Our microbenchmark experiment shows Rishari's CSE can bring 3.4 times improvement on the training support for MNASNet 0.5 with a batch size of 224. Rishari CSE can also optimize the duplication of GPU-based operations. This example shows four models that use the same input and preprocessing on CPU and a BERT embedding on GPU. BERT is a very large model that occupied most GPU memory consumption and the time of the forward person. In the CSE uh, optimized model, we dedicate one GPU for BERT so that we can spare more GPU memories on other GPUs to pack more models. Also, the pipeline can be further improved by overlapping the forward of multiple models with BERT forward of the next iteration. This is the corresponding experiment, our micro-benchmark of text NAS on SST dataset with four V100 GPUs shows nearly two times improvement on the total throughput. In the first end-to-end -end experiment, we evaluate how Rishari can accelerate for neural architecture search. We choose three famous NAS solutions to evaluate, MNASNet, NASNet, and AmobaNet. We choose these three because they cover different combinations 
of search spaces and exploration strategies. Both MNASNet and NASNet use reinforcement learning to explore the model space. NASNet and a mobile net use the same model space proposed by NASNet. Because of the large model space of the three NAS solutions, the exploration process could be very time consuming. For comparison, we compare Richari with two baselines. The exclusive execution strategy trains one model per GPU at a time. This is the most widely used strategy in NAS papers. The Packen baseline trains multiple models per GPU. We also tried to enable NVIDIA CUDA MPS in this Packen strategy to train multiple models per GPU at the same time. We compare the completion time of exploring 1000 models on four V100 GPUs. Each model is trained for one epoch on ImageNet dataset. Rishari achieves up to uh, 2.57 times speed up on the search time, mainly due to the optimization of packing multiple models per GPU and the common sub expression elimination. When the batch size is uh, 32, Rishari can simultaneously run up to 22 MNASNet models on four GPUs. Because its explored models are smaller than that in the other two NAS solutions. This result shows an insight that small models can benefit more from Rishari's current cross model optimizations. In the baselines, we notice simply packing more models in one GPU without cross model optimization could even perform worse than the exclusive execution because of heavy uh, resource contention. The second end-to-end -end experiment is to speed up weight shared training, which is a very common technique adopted in neural architecture search. It is also called one-shot NAS. Instead of training each instantiated model from the model space independently, weight shared training proposes to inherit weights of unchanged layers from previous models to avoid train every model from scratch. For example, here we have a, a model with four layers, uh, where only the second layer is mutable. The three candidates, ReLU, Identity, and Leaky ReLU, together define the model space. In the first trial, ReLU is chosen to instantiate the model. The model is trained for a few mini batches so that the weights of the convolution and the dense layer are updated. Then, the second trial is instantiated by choosing identity at the second layer, uh, but the other three layers remain the same. Weight shared training will reuse the weights from the first trial to continue the training. After a few iterations, the third trial is instantiated by choosing leaky ReLU. Similarly, the weights are shared from the second trial before the training. In this way, the training of unchanged layers will not be wasted in new trials, which can greatly reduce the exploration time. Sharing weights using checkpointing uh, could incur significant over overhead. Many NAS solutions will manually uh, build a supernet using dynamic control flow to uh, encode all possible choices in one graph. Each iteration will interact a path of the supergraph for training. With this supergraph approach, there's no need to checkpoint and reload the weight for each instantiated model, which could save the time consumed by checkpointing and the model in initialization. Rishari could automatically build the supergraph from user-defined model space. Our microbenchmark shows over six times speed up using Rishari's supergraph. Uh, different from existing NAS solutions that manually build the supergraph, Rishari can automatically build it directly using the mutator information. However, the supergraph limits the size of the model space because it must feed into the GPU memory of one GPU. It is hard to scale a supergraph training to a large GPU cluster because it does not allow training a lot of trials at the same time. To speed up weight sharing training, we propose mixed parallelism 
in Richard's cross-model optimization. To break the size limitation, we use model parallelism to partition the supergraph to multiple GPUs. Inside each partition, it still activates one path at a time. To mimic the weight shared training, we feed each partition with a different batch of data in a data parallel manner. A different partitions may share some common operators. For example, node 2 and 3. These nodes will be shared using um, parameter servers or collective uh, communication primitives like all reduce. We evaluate a famous weight shared NAS solution called SPOS. Richari can reduce the training time from 64 hours to about 7 hours, which is an improvement of 8.58 times. Meanwhile, Richari can achieve almost the same validation accuracy uh, with the SyncBN enabled data parallel training. So, to conclude this research work, Richari is the new DNN framework designed for exploratory training in order to address more and more requirements on DNN model design. Richari provides a new interface for DNN model developers to design new models efficiently. They easily express the model they want to try and leverage powerful exploration strategies to speed up the exploration. The simple but powerful mutator abstraction enables high expressiveness, reusability of exploration strategies, and plenty of rooms for system optimizations. And next, my colleague Scarlett will introduce how Richari is implemented in NI and how to use Richari on NI. Thanks, Quanlu, for the sharing. This is Scarlett Li, MAPM in Microsoft Research Asia. In the next 10 to 15 minutes, I will introduce the usage of Rishari on NNI with two demos. And after that, we will have open for the Q&A. A quick background about Rishari and NNI. Rishari is actually an innovation generated from the evolving of an open source project called NNI which aims to build a lightweight but very powerful toolkit to help users to automate machine learning lifecycle, which usually include feature engineering, architect search, hyperparameter tuning, and model compression. For searching the best neural architecture and hyperparameters, it provides tons of state of art tuning algorithms, as well as a set of powerful API for users to self-define their own tuning algorithms. This tuning algorithm generates promising trail jobs, which are automatically dispatched by NNI to various training environments, including local machine, remote machines, and uh, cloud options like OpenPy, Kubiflow, Azure Machine Learning. Uh, what's noteworthy is it also supports cross-platform hybrid trainings, which can help users to make their the best use of their uh, diverse resources. The tool is also well known for its user-friendly command line tool and the, uh, and the delightful web UI, which enable the users to manage their machine learning experiences and runnings and results productively. Started from 2018, and I has kept working on adding more and more popular AutoML algorithms, connects to various training services and platforms. So far, we've had already built in 35 popular AutoML algorithms in to total with NNI. The algorithms covers various aspects of the AutoML lifecycle, including 12 tuners for hyperparameter tuning, 7 neural architect search algorithms, 5 model compression problems, runners or quantizers, two feature selectors, and two early stop algorithms. As said, from the communications with uh, uh, academic and community users, we found the necessity of merging and replacing the neural architect search and the hyperparameter tuning implementation into one more advanced exploration training method. That's the motivation for the invention of Rishari. In 2.0 release, we first introduced the, uh, the alpha implementation of Rishari, which provides basic APIs for exploration training. Since then, with two more continuous releases, we are now on track with the upcoming formal version that supports neural architect search with Rishari in NNI. 
As a quick recap about Reshari method, Reshari has decoupled mo mo model space from model exploration strategy, which largely improves the efficiency and clarity of training explorations among known and unknown new models. Reflecting the design of this abstraction to the specific implementation on NI, we defined a simple process with only three steps to construct an explorational training, which includes defining a model, base model, and adding its mutations, bundling search strategies and exploring the search space, setting the is, uh, ev uh, evolution goals and uh, extract the top models. I will introduce each step in more details in the following slices before the demo. So firstly, usually you only need one line change to switching a normal model to the NI wrapped modules. With the base model, you are able to extend it to more variations by applying NS mutators. In this code snap uh, segments, we, uh, we have applied two different mutators to the base model. The first one uh, is a layer choice mutator. In addition to the initial COM2D layer design, the layer mutation allows Reshari to generate additional model design options from more, more layer settings. And the input mutator allows Reshari to sk skip connections based on the search strategy's needs. In addition to the layer mutator and the input mutator we just introduced, NI has another basic mutator called value mutator. As an example above, value, uh, value Choice API helps you to choose one value from all these candidates. It can be in int, flute, and other seri series of parameters. Beyond the basic type of mutators, NI also supports advanced mutators, which has more powerful ability to manipulate the neural graph. Insert mutator allows you to insert a node directly to the graph. Cell mutators provide more flexibility for the user to define a high-level cell as a building block and use it in the graph directly. To design more complex mutators that fit your own neural access search idea, you can directly inherit NS mutator class to implement graph mutation logic and then use mutator subclass to implement neural access search strategy. This is a, a very high level briefing about graph mutator. You can always learn more about how to use graph mutation APIs by visiting the NI open source projects documentation. Okay, next step uh, is to explore the search space. As listed here, NI had already implement, implemented and provided a set of popular search strategies. For example, a uh, random search strategy can help you randomly pick up the models from the search space. Grid search strategy helps to immunize all the possible model def defined in the space. And uh, uh, evolution strategy is a generic algorithm that can explore the sp space based on inheritance and mutation. As an extensible framework, NI provided the ability to users who would like to customize their own strategy as well. In this, in this demo, we will use uh, directly use the NI out of box uh, Bayesian optimization strategy (TPE) strategy as an example. Okay, evolution is always uh, task oriented and closely connected to the context. It usually requires customization work for business logics. In NI, we release the two ev evaluators, um, majorly as example sample codes for reference. User need to re re user can refer to the sample codes and customize their own strat uh, strategy and evaluators directly. In the demo, we use the, the sample classification directly here. Okay, in in our background introduction, uh, let's take a closer look at the first uh, NI Rishari demo for Neuroarch Search. Rishari is a deep learning framework that supports the exploratory training on a neural network model space developed by the Microsoft NNI team. This example will show Rishiari's ability to express and explore the model space for neural architecture search and hyperparameter tuning in a simple way. Let's start the journey with Rishiari. Step 1. Express the model space. 
Model space is defined by users to express a set of models that they want to explore, which contains potentially good performing models. In Ricciary framework, a model space is defined with two parts, a base model and possible mutations on the base model. Step 1.1. Define the base model. Defining a base model is almost the same as defining a PyTorch model. Usually, you only need to replace the code that imports PyTorch to use NNI-wrapped PyTorch modules. This is a very simple example of defining a base model. Step 1.2. Define the model mutations. A base model is only one concrete model, not a model space. NNI provides APIs and primitives for users to express how the base model can be mutated, i.e., a model space that includes many models. The following will use inline mutation APIs layer choice to choose a layer from candidate operations and use input choice to try out skip connection. Step 2. Explore the model space. We will demo the multi-trial NAS method first. In the multi-trial NAS process, the search strategy repeatedly generates new models, and the model evaluator is for training and validating each generated model. The obtained performance of a generated model is collected and sent to the search strategy for generating better models. Users can choose a proper search strategy to explore the model space, and use a chosen or user-defined model evaluator to evaluate the performance of each sampled model. Step 2.1. Choose or write a search strategy. Currently, Ricciary supports many common strategies, such as random, regularized evolution and TPE, etc. According to the APIs of Ricciary, you can also customize a new strategy easily, and there we use the TPE strategy as an example. Step 2.2. Choose or write a model evaluator. The model evaluator should correctly identify the use case of the model and the optimization goal. For example, on a classification task, and dataset is needed, the loss function could be cross-entropy and the optimized metric could be the accuracy. Ricciary provides two ways for users to write a new model evaluator. In the context of PyTorch, Ricciary has provided two built-in model evaluators, designed for simple use cases, classification and regression. These two evaluators are built upon the awesome library PyTorch Lightning. Here we take a classification task on CIFR 10 dataset as an example. Step 2.3. Configure the experiment. After all the above are prepared, it is time to configure an experiment to do the model search. The basic experiment configuration is as follows. NNI allows users to run experiments in different training platforms to speed up the search, like local machine, remote servers, OpenPy, Kubeflow, Framework Controller on K8S, DL Workspace, Azure Machine Learning, Adapt DL, other cloud options, and even hybrid mode. There we use the local mode with GPU speeding up. Step 2.4. Run and view the experiment. You can launch the experiment now. It is worth mentioning that NNI provides a powerful web UI to help users view the experiment results and make more advanced analyses. Open the web UI URL in your browser. You can view detailed information about the experiment, including the best metric and the top trials. Click into the experiment detail page. You can see all the submitted trial jobs and the point graph of them. In addition, there are more advanced features waiting for you to discover on NNI's web UI. Step 2.5. Export the top model. NNI also provides an API to export the top K model scripts searched by Ricciary, so you can use them easily. Thanks for watching and looking forward to your feedback. Okay. Compared to independently training each model from scratch, which we call the multi-trial NAS, uh, is, uh, that is what we just demoed. Uh, One-shot algorithms greatly reduces the computational resources. This type of algorithms leverage weight sharing among models in a neural architecture search space to train a supernet, and use this supernet to get the selection of better models. As introduced by Quan Lu, Rishari has done lots of work on weight sharing op optimizations and applied these optimizations to one-shot uh, on the NNI implementation. 
we had also provided the support to a set of well-known one-shot algorithms out of box. And, and uh, as always, we have also provided a, a lot of uh, APIs for you to customize your own one-shot on top of NNI. So as the defin uh, de definition of model space uh, part is the same as multi-trial demo, the second demo will uh, directly start from the, se uh, the second step. Explore the model space. With a defined model space, users can explore the space in two ways. One is the multi-trial NAS method, which searches by evaluating each sampled model independently. The other is using one-shot weight sharing-based search, which consumes much less computational resource compared to the first one. In this part, we focus on this one-shot approach. The principle of the one-shot approach is combining all the models in a model space into one big model, usually called supermodel or supergraph. It takes charge of both search, training and testing, by training and evaluating this big model. Rishieri has supported some classic one-shot trainers, like Dart's trainer, Enus trainer, Proxilus NAS trainer, single path trainer, and users can customize a new one-shot trainer according to the APIs provided by Rishieri conveniently. Here, we show an example to use Dart's trainer manually. Similarly, the optimal structure found can be exported. Thanks for watching and looking forward to your feedback. As a summary for the key takeaways, uh, thanks for watching the demos and uh, as a key takeaways for the for the entire session, for NAS researchers and developers, Rishari has provided just enough abstractions for the researchers to concentrate on the certain research problem. And for the model developers, Rishari provides the new interface for DNN model developers to design new models efficiently. We have al al also implemented Rishari on NNI, which is a tool having lots of support on connecting to the training services and uh, uh, supporting a very delightful web UI. So with, with research implementation on NI, both researchers and developers can invent new DNN models with extensible API and user-friendly user, user experiences. So last, before the Q&A session, we'd like to take a minute to thanks for the core researchers and developers who had contributed to NNI in the past, currently, and in the future. And thanks for our leadership teams who had given us the, the kindly support on exploring the new things in this domain. And thanks our our contributors in the community. Though we never met face to face, we are we had already working on a great tool together to making automated deep learning model develop better. So that's all for today. Thanks for listening and we are open for questions. Hi everyone, thanks for attending the introduction of Rishari, a deep learning exploration training platform on NNI, uh, web webinar and live q and I'm Scarlett Lee, uh, a PM in MSRA, and uh, together with me is the, my colleague Quan Lu Zhang. Over the next 15 minutes, we, we are going to be, uh, to be answering top questions submitted by the audience. Let's get, get started. So our first question is, is it possible to utilize Rishari to minimal, minimally replicate popular NAS product like, like Mobile Night V3, etc.? Uh, Quan Lu, would you like to answer the question? I saw our, you already have a uh, short answer in the chat log. Do you want to ex explain more to the audience? Uh, sure. Uh, this is a good question. Uh, so the answer is it's possible. Rishari is designed for this purpose. Uh, uh, it's for uh, minimize the design and implement of new uh, NAS algorithms and uh, 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 for developing uh, new models more efficiently. We have implemented several NAS uh, algorithms, including NASNet, SPOS, uh, mobile, uh, mobile net, um, uh, mobile net uh, and other uh, algorithms. So it should be easy to implement the NAS space for producing uh, mobile net with three 
uh, and uh, reproduce the search process of mobile net v3 v3 and uh, the implementation effort should be small uh, with the resharing. Thank you. I see there are so, people uh, already open up. Yeah. Hello, go ahead. So uh, are you want to continue the answer? Uh, if you uh, have new, already... Uh, you mean the um, new question, right? Yeah, there is a, a new yeah, question. Uh, Actually, people are... Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, this is a new yeah, question. The question is, can, uh, can I use your Rishari can, to uh, can, mm. Yeah, can I use Rishari to train again? Uh, actually, we um, uh, we have uh, uh, this kind of example uh, in our uh, PR uh, uh, on NI, and uh, the answer is yes, we can uh, we can. Uh, use Rishari to train again and uh, uh, to uh, specify m uh, many candidate uh, possible hyperparameter values and uh, architectures uh, to automatically find their uh, best uh, uh, game model. Nice. Uh, I saw there are a question about whether Rishari is an open source um, project and uh, whether, uh, and, uh, and, uh, yes, it is, and it is not only Rishari. It is, uh, Rishari is part of an NNI project which has already been there for two, uh, two and more year, two years, and uh, it only, not only has uh, NAS algorithms and NAS support, but also has uh, model compression support and hyperparameter tuning support and et cetera. And I saw there are already people asking, already raising issues after listening to this webinar. Thank you, for, thank you guys for actively um, uh, connect us in the GitHub. And uh, let's move on to the next question, uh, which is, uh, is it possible to specify hardware or wire constraints in the search space as, as is commonly explored in works like uh, mobile, uh, mobile debt, debt, et cetera. Uh, Qianlu, would you like to answer that question? Yeah, so this is a good question. Hardware aware is, uh, uh, is a very important scenario. And uh, usually we, uh, uh, we uh, design or search uh, uh, a DNA model is for, uh, uh, for a specific hardware or device. So for Rishari, hardware constraints uh, can be put in exploration strategy uh, as uh, uh, condition uh, uh, as this kind of condition or constraints uh, 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 is used for sampling uh, new models or uh, sub models from uh, the model space um, uh, and uh, we uh, we have another work uh, which does uh, latency uh, prediction because uh, many hardware aware um, uh, aware NAS, they, um, uh, they usually use, uh, for example, flops as their indicator to show whether the model is qualified enough. So we uh, actually have another work to directly predict their, uh, uh, their, uh, their inference latency and uh, uh, memory consumption of each sampled model. And uh, this, uh, this work will be uh, all is being integrated uh, uh, with Rishari and NI. Thanks, Chenlu. There is another yeah, question is, okay. about, uh, yeah, thank you for that answer. And there is a, another question coming. Do you have any conclusions about optimal ordering of choices in weight sharing? Um, yeah, uh, actually, we uh, did uh, several um, uh, research works on this topic, and uh, uh, we are trying to understand how we're sharing works. And our conclusion is that um, uh, for the normal we're sharing, uh, that is, uh, 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 users specify different types of uh, operators for uh, one layer, uh, then um, uh, then the NAS algorithm randomly sample each operator uh, to build um, to build a uh, sub model, and this type of approach um, can find a reasonably good uh, good uh, model from the uh, search space. But it's pretty hard to find the best model or the optimal ordering. Um, uh, 
uh, for this search space. And uh, uh, according to my understanding, I, um, uh, I think maybe uh, the super kernel approach uh, uh, could have uh, more potential on uh, finding good models. The super kernel means that uh, the candidate operators for uh, one layer uh, are very similar to each other. Uh, for example, they are all uh, convolutional operator. Then we can uh, combine uh, these con uh, convolutional operators into one super convolutional operator uh, to share uh, weights among each other. Uh, maybe this way uh, have higher potential to solve this problem. Uh, there is a question, uh, upcoming question related to hardware. It is asking, is it, is it possible to use Rishari on Mac with M1 chip uh, uh, plus uh, NPU, PS NPU? So uh, in general, we already support Mac, uh, Mac OS and uh, Windows and uh, Linux, uh, but uh, specifically we did not try that, uh, that, that chip out, so probably yeah. If you have that that hardware, yes. please try it and let us know. <laughs> okay. So next upcoming question is: Is Rishari evaluating the experiment by loose function or accuracy score? Mm, do you want to yeah, ask? for this question, yeah. Um, so actually. Uh, how to evaluate uh, um, uh, user-defined model uh, is um, uh, is decided by by user, and uh, uh, so user with Rishari, user specifies uh, their model space uh, using uh, our APIs, and then they to write an evaluator. Uh, for example, uh, they can write this kind of evaluator uh, with uh, uh, PyTorch Lightning to specify how to train uh, each sample model from the model space. And uh, uh, the exploration strategy uh, in Rishari uh, will receive the, uh, the, evaluated, uh, uh, the evaluation results, for example, accuracy or loss, and use this uh, metric to, uh, to um, uh, sample the next, uh, uh, the, the next, next candidate, uh, candidate model. Thank you. So there is another question. How to obtain model graph from a PyTorch or TensorFlow model? So well, we do support that. For PyTorch, we use TorchScript to extract model graph from the PyTorch model. And for TensorFlow, we use similar way to obtain the model graph relaying on the uh, TensorFlow provided utilities. Uh, for the current implementation of resharing on NI, we mainly focus on the PyTorch framework right now. Okay, so let's see other questions. Should I open open issues for this kind of suggestion on case studies? Yes, please do so. Uh, we we do very actively actively um, interact with uh, our users on the GitHub through uh, issues and uh, discussions. GitHub recently opened a discussion section which can help users to discuss about new ideas and designs. Uh, you are also encouraged to go through, go to the discussion session to discuss with us if you have good ideas or case studies. Right. How to train a combined model when this model contains multiple models? Is there any uh, limitations with the approaches? Uh, Chen Wu, would you like to explain about this scenario and support? Uh, sure. Um, uh, this is a good question. And this question is mainly about uh, uh, the optimizations that we designed in Rishari. And uh, actually, we are also uh, implementing this kind of, of optimizations on NI. Uh, it is called CGO execution engine. and uh, uh, for, the, for this question, uh, how to uh, train multiple models uh, uh, together, and uh, it's, uh, uh, it's pretty simple uh, because uh, uh, we, we uh, simply sum the loss 
of uh, of multiple models together to become a uh, a new one a one new uh, loss, and uh, uh, and then we optimize this loss uh, with uh, uh, with user specified optimizer, and uh, uh, in this approach, um, uh, these multiple models are trained together. Um, uh, this approach has um, uh, some limitations. Uh, first, uh, um, uh, these models should uh, should have should have the same batch size, uh, so that we can uh, we can feed uh, um, feed training data um, uh, once uh, without uh, uh, to deal with um, uh, different batch sizes. Um, um, and uh, the second. Uh, and the second constraint is that they should usually they should have the uh, have the same training epochs uh, and the same optimizers. Uh, these conditions are uh, are not hard constraint uh, because uh, if two models have uh, different epochs, uh, for example, uh, two epochs and three epochs respectively, uh, we can combine these two models to train two epochs. And then train the left one uh, for another one epoch. Yeah, and uh, maybe Hi. there uh, there are other uh, are other limitations. Uh, but uh, for uh, our implementation on AI, we only target the simplest uh, scenario in order to make uh, this uh, optimizations uh, robust and stable. Nice. Um. So there is another question. Uh, could optimizations like deduplication and fusion applied across multiple auto, uh, auto ML jobs? Uh, Yanlu, can you answer, help answer this yeah. question? Um, yeah, actually, uh, by design, uh, we only uh, apply across model optimizations uh, on the models within one, uh, uh, one Richari experiment. Uh, uh, because uh, with our mutator abstraction, we can easily figure out which part is the same and the, which parts are different among the sampled op, uh, the sampled models. Um, uh, so it's uh, uh, not that easy to uh, apply uh, apply cross model optimizations across uh, uh, on the models across different Richard experiment uh, or uh, on some ad hoc. Uh, submitted uh, DNN models, uh, but as long as uh, there are uh, some approach to identify the uh, the same part uh, of those models, then our uh, uh, cross model optimization techniques are uh, general enough to uh, be applied on them. Uh, great, thank you. So there is a new question. Uh, is the Richari can automate, automatically test how the CNN ship uh, ad adapt the data, database best? Uh, like like convolution channel number? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you got the answer? You got the question? Yeah, uh, I think the question is um, uh, can Richari automatically uh, uh, figure out the best uh, DNN model shape, uh, for example, convolution channel number, uh, or fully connected, uh, uh, fully connected uh, size uh, to adapt uh, uh, each given data set. Uh, I think this uh, question is mainly about uh, uh, is about that user provide a data set. Then how to provide um, our, uh, the best DNA model for this data set? Uh, and uh, I think, uh, firstly, uh, for uh, the design of Richari, expect that users uh, to specify the model space. And uh, uh, actually, th there have been many uh, commonly used uh, uh, search spaces to automatically generate uh, DNA model for each given data set. And uh, we can implement this kind of um, C-space uh, with the Richari API. And then 
we can provide this uh, this functionality that uh, we can automatically uh, find the best model from this uh, specified spa space for this data set. So, uh, so the the short short answer is that uh, uh, to adapt uh, uh, layers uh, layers input outputs shape uh, for a specific data set, user have to specify uh, the candidate options uh, for uh, for the choices of uh, each layer's shape, and then automatically search models for the data set. Thanks, Chen Lu. I, I think it's uh, almost the, the end of the, the, the webinar, so we can, we can wait for another question if there is a question coming in um, in the coming 10 or 30, 30 minutes, 30 seconds. If not, um, we probably, it's time to Thank you for thank you. Firstly, thank you all for attending today. We appreciate your participation and interest in this topic. Uh, if you are interested in learning more, we already listed some great resources in the resource list to the right uh, of your screen. The list include uh, our the, the the link to our GitHub URL and also the presentation we are using today, and also the paper uh, Rishari has uh, published and. Uh, uh, and some of the videos we are using. So we are looking forward to seeing how you can build your research on and evolving that in the in the, in the neural architect search area and other auto ML areas using uh, using NNI and Rishari and other tools that we can work together. So uh, have a gr great day. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you.